What's going on guys? I just wanted to, to make a quick uh, pickup video. I haven't done a video in a long time. I've been really busy with work and I went on vacation and all that stuff and I wanted to you know, do a quick pickup video. I have a huge stack of PS3 games right now. Um, I've been in like a real big uh, PS3 movement um, lately to, to buy PS3 games. Um, so I just wanted to you know, show them to you and, and I bought some other stuff too. Oh, let's get this pickup video going. Cut. All right, guys. So we're gonna start out with the PS3 games, and this is a stack. So please bear with me. I'm not gonna talk about each game because everybody knows these games. But um, I don't know. I've been saving these up, I guess, for a, for a big video. So first one, Duke Nukem Forever. I mean, GameStop they sell us for for what? I don't remember what I got this for. Maybe three bucks. I know it's a piece of shit, but hey. Building my PS3 collection. Next up, Starhawk, PS3 exclusive. Um, you know, for uh, second, it, it was it was Warhawk on the PS3, and then my Starhawk, whatever. Like, I actually haven't. This is still sealed. I haven't opened it. Obviously, it says 39 now, 39 plus. They had it on sale a couple months ago at uh, Best Buy for ten dollars. Ten dollars. So I got that for ten bucks. That's that's a good savings. Um, I got a couple old, old games here. I got Lair. Now, this game, um, very bad. <laughs> I know it's a bad game. Um, it's not very good. Um, but I kind of like it. Um, they did come out with a patch a long time ago to fix, because before it was all, it was all of this to control. You had to use the, uh, the uh, whatever they call it, whatever they call it in the controller I don't remember they don't even talk about it anymore nobody uses it but you had to use the accelerometer the, the six axis the actual six axis portion of the six axis controller in order to steer your dragon mount um, very hard to do um, but they made it to where you can use the analog stick but it's actually a decent game um, next people hated this game but actually at the time I really liked it um, I don't know where the manual is why is there a manual but anyways Haze. Um, pretty. I thought it was a pretty decent game. It what the problem is they set themselves up to fail because in the beginning I, I think somebody at some point said that this is a uh, that this was a Halo killer. Definitely isn't a Halo killer. Uh, Free Air Radical I think went out of business soon after the release of this game, unfortunately. So that's too bad. Uh, next game I really liked. I played. I beat it on the 360, but I went ahead and I wanted to buy it on the on the uh, X, the PS3 because I like trophies. So this one here, uh, Call, Call of War as Bound in Blood. Uh, it's a really good game. Um, some people didn't like it apparently, but I really liked it. I got I think I got a little bit less than eight ninety nine, but still awesome game. <laughs> now this next uh, game, people hate it so much, and I just really wanted to play it. I might put a gameplay footage video of this game, but I just had to buy it because it has such a um, it has such a reputation amongst uh, the gaming community that is Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic 06 as they like to say um, <laughs> I know the Game Grumps have been playing it um, it's kind of weird looking as far as uh, Sonic has some infatuation with a human girl Ooh, that's weird not girl but you know a human woman um, that's really weird and apparently gameplay sucks but I bought it because it has a reputation Next, some of these games I got because uh, GameStop was doing a 50% a off their already pre-owned price. So, you know, Red Faction Gorilla. Um, decent game. I, li I like the destruction on it. It's really cool. I haven't played this game yet, but it was cheap enough. I think it was only 3 bucks. Dark Void. I hate the, the glare. It's so annoying. Dark Void. Um, looks like it's, it's pretty cool. I remember... Uh, Adam Sessler and the guys talking about uh, this game. It's made by Capcom. Uh, I heard Adam Sessler, you know, t talking about it on on X Play a long time ago. It seemed like it was it was actually a decent game. So two three bucks, that's worth it. And then this one was on sale at GameStop, brand new for twenty bucks. So I played the demo. Um, it seemed pretty nice. So twenty bucks, not bad. Dragon's Dogma. Next, again fifty percent off. Boom. Brutal Legend. A lot of people didn't like this game. They thought, you know, it was very hyped. I used to watch, I already spoke about X-Play, but I used to watch X-Play all the time. And they did this, they kept on talking about Brutal Legend, Brutal Legend. Let's talk to Shim Schaefer, Brutal Legend. 
Anytime they do that about a video game, it's always a piece of garbage. And apparently people didn't like this. But it was really cheap. I bought it. So what? Next. Again, 50% off. Boom. Resistance 2. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was pretty cheap. So that, the sale was awesome. So that's why I bought a bunch of PS3 games. Resistance 2. No more to say on that one. Another game that you don't really need to talk about. Force Unleashed. Pretty cool game. Done. Boom. Bam. Uh, rest in peace, Lucas Arts. Uh, sorry. And anyways, I bought. Uh, they had a deal at Best Best Buy. I got these these couple games in there. Um, you know, you buy two, you get one, get one free. So I went ahead and got a couple. Uh, the Jack and Daxter collection for the PS3. All right. I haven't played a Jack and Daxter game, so I figured why not start now. Uh, earn some trophies on that thing. Again, I played this game and I and I returned it to GameFly, but now I bought it. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, what was it called? Uh, Crack in Time. This is a lot, a lot of fun. I just, you know, I just got out of it. So many games to play, you stop playing a game midway. So this is a really good game. All the Ratchet and Clank games are really. Um, I played this on the 360. Love it. I bought it on the PS3. Bulletstorm. It's a really fun game. I mean, it, it is a shooter. It is pretty shallow in that aspect of it, but. I thought the characters were pretty good. The main character seems like a uh, Marcus Phoenix meets Wolverine. Um, it's it's fitting because it's 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 Epic Games is the is the main person behind it. But people can fly into this one. Um, a really cool game. I like it a lot. Um, and then I bought. I guess I'll show both of them at the same time. Boom. Bad Company One and Bad Company Two. Yay! Good games. The Bad Company. I I want them to make Bad Company Three. That'd be great. But. These are good games. Man, the stack is huge. 50% uh, off. Dragon Age Origins. Uh, pretty cool game made by Bioware. You know, who doesn't love an RPG? I mean, come on. Uh, last of the, the PS3 games, I guess, would be another 50% off one. I heard this was, game was really good. Deus, Deus X, as they say. I like to say, do six. But anyways, uh, Deus X Human Revolution. They say this is a really good game. Okay, great. So we got that done. Some retro games that we purchased. I got this one on on eBay. This is Legend of Dragon for the PS1. Phenomenal game. Phenomenal game. Made by Sony themselves. I don't know how they did it, but they made an awesome, awesome RPG. If you ever get a chance to get this, I recommend you get it. Excuse me. Let me mute this. I recommend that you get this. Um... It's on the PlayStation Store, um, on the PSN, PS, uh, PS1 section, so you gotta buy this. And the seller also got gave me the greatest hits um, guide on it, so he was like, I don't know if it matters if it's the greatest hits. It's like, it's fine. Just as long as the game's black label, I am fine. I hate the reflection. Anyways, so I got this. What else have we got going on here? Oh, part part of the buy one get buy one buy two get one free over at Best Buy. I got Metroid Corruption, so I got it for free. Metroid game. All right, great. I I had Metroid One and Two for the for the GameCube or Metroid Prime excuse, Prime, excuse me. One and Two on the GameCube. I figured I better I better end it and put get the Wii one. So that's great. I would like the the collector's edition, but that's kind of hard to find and probably relatively expensive. And today I bought uh, this is a great game. It's a shoot 'em up. Uh, Top-down shoot 'em up, the stereotypical, you know, flying machine game, but boom, Raystorm. I when the PlayStation One and like in the late '90s, maybe in the early 2000s, I bought this game, not thinking like, oh, I guess it looks cool. The back looks cool. This game looks gorgeous. If you ever get a chance to play this game, I recommend playing it. It's phenomenal. Today, I went out and I got myself a. Genesis. Oh, I, I really like my Genesis. Um, not as much as, you know, my, my Nintendo and Super Nintendo, but this is a good console. So I really wanted to get a Genesis. And I bought a bunch of games. So let me show you the games. I went to my, my local used, used video game, retro game store, and I bought a bunch. So let's see what we got here. I really wish this box would fold over. Anyways, so... Nothing rare, just uh, just games that I remember from my childhood. Um, World Series Baseball. Um, I think the store gave me this for free, so it wasn't on the receipt at least. Um, Pitfall. This was a really cool game. It was on the on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. I remember playing this one a lot. 
Um, really cool game. Uh, this one is great. Boom, Aladdin. Oh, they they have um, the interesting thing about Aladdin. They had the end the the Super Nintendo Aladdin game, and then they had the Genesis Aladdin game. Both totally different games, different companies. This one is done by um, uh, Virgin Virgin Games, and the one on the Super Nintendo is done by Capcom. Both great in their own right. And this one you actually get to use a sword. <laughs> But they both throw apples in each game, so that's kind of interesting. Which, how often do they throw apples in the movie? Maybe once? I don't know. So I don't really know where apples came from, but this one's really cool. A lot of comedy in this. A lot of fun, funny stuff. And what's a Genesis? What's a Genesis without buying Sonic games? I mean, come on. We got Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Phenomenal game. Boom. Done. Sonic 2. Phenomenal game. Boom. Done. I should. I saw Sonic Three at, at one of the places I went to. I didn't pick it up. Um, I should have. It's only like thirteen bucks, whatever. And then I had this game, to Sonic Spinball. Great game. Actually, I have it on my iPhone as well. Um, it's for sale on the uh, on the Apple Apple Store. I usually don't buy uh, sports games just because. I mean, at least retro sports games because. They're so old, why would you want to play it? But I bought this one because I'm a Florida guy. I'm from from the state of Florida. Boom, 97. Florida Panthers. What, what? So I'm representing my, my Florida Panthers. Um, and I think last but not least, yeah, last but not least, would be, I had this game as a kid too. Boom, X-Men. All right. I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, what, else, what do I have over here? Oh, yeah. I bought a couple other games at GameStop since we're doing pickups. Uh, I bought Red Steel 2. Never played it. Felt like trying it out. I liked Red Steel 1. You know, people hate Red Steel, but I like Red Steel 1 uh, a lot. Um, but you probably couldn't play that now because it probably didn't age very well. Actually, I played it probably played it like four years ago. It didn't age well. Uh, Boom Blocks. I remember when this came out and I was like, Bleh, the we played it. This game is awesome. If you want just a, just a fun uh, boom uh, uh you know, Wii game to play, play with your parents. I was playing, I was playing this game with, with me and my mom and my sister were playing this game. A lot of fun, you know, and they don't normally play video games. This game's a lot of fun. And then I always really, really want to play Resports Resort. This one game's a lot of fun too. Whatever. I have so many video games right now. It's, it's not even funny. I'm just glad I'm not in trouble with the old lady. Anyway, so that's, that's game pickups. So. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, check out my videos, share them. Uh, I'll be back some other time, some other place. See you later, geeks.